So for today's children's sermon, live and online, I want to tell you about when I was a little kid. When I was a little kid, I was growing up with my little brother. And my little brother, he was good at some things. In fact, the thing that he was best at was making me mad. He learned how to get my goat all the time. He would go in my room when he wasn't supposed to. He would take my toys when they told him he wasn't supposed to do those things. He would say things to me to just start to make me mad. And my mother would say to him, stop provoking your brother. Didn't work. But he was really, really energetic in wanting to try to get me to be all, and sometimes it worked. Usually, when my mother would say, stop provoking your brother, it meant stop trying to make your brother mad. Maybe some of you, anybody ever have that experience where you got provoked? Anybody ever get the experience where somebody was provoking you? That's usually when we say, oh, stop provoking me, because it means to make somebody mad. So it's a really strange thing that in today's Bible reading, the second Bible reading, the writer said, let's provoke one another to love and good deeds. That's not usually the way we use that word. But what the writer means is, you know, if we can be really, really energetic sometimes in making people mad or in doing things that, that incite other people to, do, to, to be really angry, imagine if we use that kind of energy and focus to encourage people to do good things, to love each other, to help out each other. Not just sitting back and saying, oh, it would be nice if somebody did something good, but actually really trying to draw other people into doing something good. So it's kind of like maybe if you say, well, somebody needs help, and I'm going to go and I'm going to encourage somebody to come with me and help that person. I see a kid in school, and they're feeling left out. I'm not just going to say, oh, isn't it too bad? I'm going to go and ask my friends to say, let's all go over and invite that person in so they feel included. That's a way that we actively show love and do good deeds for others. And that's one of the things that the Bible always encourages us to do. It's a way we share God's love, and it's a way that we can do things that are provoking, not for bad stuff, but for good things. Thank you guys very much for listening.